Alright, Jack. You're on the controls. What are you doing? Uh, so right now we're just trying to uh, do the best job we can to tell the story of this race. So, following down uh, the under 18 single scale semi final. And one of the challenging things is uh, when you've got crews over one side of the field and you've almost got races within races. So, we've got a couple of kids fair out in the front. And so we just got to keep in mind that we've actually you know, got a good race here for the qualifying positions. And keep an eye on those. And sort of try to tell a narrative as much as we can. What are your main problems that you come up against while doing this? Um, well, uh, given my prior experience in uh, the season's regattas, estimating how much flying I can do on 20% worth of battery and not realising that there's an um, automatic return to home function when it gets to 10% and, well actually the, temp the automatic and will only just decide to land uh, regardless of what it's over so that it won't just fall out of the sky and it doesn't really take into consideration that you could be out of water and I, you know, you could have filmed a Jason Statham action movie about it because I managed to land the drone at the 321 uh, before the battery would have run out and so we've learned our lesson and we're very, very cautious on battery life now uh, speaking of which, I'm actually going to switch over to uh, being on the on the drone because I'm um, at 40% and that's sort of my new uh, ceiling. That's the cutoff. Yeah. Go on, so, you can play it wild for one day. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell John. <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell the boys that have actually got their financial stakes in on this. <laughs> um, yeah, we, yeah, sometimes with the wet weather it's a bit of a challenge. Um, because uh, expensive electronics tend not to like uh, water. Uh, but, yeah, we just got to try and do the best we can with the, with the tools we've got. And, you know, we've got a lot of the roads out there in the rain, so we'll get out there and sit on the, on the static cameras and, and follow it around. What about, what about birds? Have you encountered any birds? Uh, we also had a bunch of starlings flying around on this morning. I'll just double check that. Are we flipping off? Uh, switching off drones? We're on the job. Sorry team. Off drones. Off drones. Serious stuff. Yeah. What's your drone of choice? Uh, the DJI Mavic 3. Uh, we've actually got fortune to rent a Mavic 3 Pro this weekend and been quite impressed with the camera. Uh, so if DJI is watching and would love to sponsor us with a couple of pros, I think we'd be uh, very, very appreciative, very grateful. The amount of uh, quality that we can get out of them is just unreal. So to save uh, a few costs, a few overheads, I'm going down to Marty for the filming. How are you getting down there? Uh, this uh, right here, actually, this is yeah, with the, the flights, I think we're just getting a little bit too pricey and uh, the guys sort of had this in the garage and yeah, it's asked if I could take one from the team uh, and so uh, I jumped down on this. They, uh, they will shout me a, a couple of highs at a full square I think along the way. Uh, I'm going to see some beautiful scenery uh, as a pillar part of New Zealand so I'm quite excited. You've also been a top level athlete, so I'm sure it's not going to be hard for you. Yeah, well, I might actually get to return to that top athlete level form by the time I get down there, once I've sort of done all that training, uh, the, you know, the, the pies might work themselves off. So it could be time for a comeback. Uh, the Olympics is this year. This could be the, uh, the spark that lights the fire for the comeback tour. Love to hear it. <laughs>